Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. And now, here's Jeff Crilly. Welcome back to the Jeff Crilly Show. I did something unfair to my guests this morning. Uh, they showed up in the lobby and we played a little, um, you know, guess guess what I do for a living. And, and nobody could guess Rob Keating's job. Rob, welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. Beer. Now, I, I, I jokingly called you the man behind the curtains. Uh, explain that to the audience. What what, do you, what does your company do? I work, I'm the general manager for a company in Dallas called Quest Drape, and we're the largest supplier of drape for special events in the United States. And I find this fascinating because we, we were at uh, Minnie's Food Pantry's uh, gala uh, right. just a couple weeks ago, and we're sitting next to each other and struck up a conversation. And I was like, what do you do? And he says, you see those drapes over there? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's it's the largest in the country. That's yeah, it was started by uh, <clears throat> our CEO and founder, Lee Dunlap. Okay. We started in 1998 out of his uh, garage. Uh, Lee had a vision to offer drape to anyone and companies 24-7 and keep it the same price with no increase for late charges or late setups. And right now we're in 17 cities around the country. Country. Wow. Okay. So when when I go to a, uh, a high end affair, one of the galas here in Dallas, right. and I see the draping on the back of the stage, you guys more than likely did that. Most likely, yes. Yeah. yeah. We well, work with all the event planners, Steve Kimmel, yes. that we know, and most of the wedding planners and the AV companies around town. And drapes, uh, when you, I mean, when you take away the drapes, it really the Stage seems naked, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't want to sit for two hours staring at a head table and a flowered background. It makes it really can accentuate yeah. the the experience. Uh, tell us a story because one of the things that we were talking about over dinner was that you get last minute requests. I mean, you get kind of the right. the, the panicked. How soon can you get here with this? We needed this an hour ago. Our right, guy fell right. through. Tell us a story. Uh, we're on call twenty four seven, and it's. Nothing out of the blue to get a call at 11 o'clock at night. There's a meeting, say, at the Anatole, and the event planner changed their mind. Want something different, and can you be here at 6 a.m. with 800 feet of drape that's 22 feet tall? Wow. And I said, well, we're on it, and nine out of ten times we can do that. Wow. And so, and you're, and it's kind of one-stop shopping. Your crew comes in, sets up, takes down? We take the orders, we do the setup, we do the takedown, in and out. And so when um, you have, you're the general manager of uh, the, the Dallas. The Dallas office, correct. Is, now, do, do you go into Fort Worth? Is it all of North Texas? We do all of Texas, um, part of Kansas. Wow. And a little bit in Oklahoma. What's, what's been the uh, most exciting uh, job that you've done so far? Uh, have, you, have you done anything? I for... think right now one of them is we're a large sponsor for the uh, Skyball. Oh, cool. And that's been a five-day setup. No kidding. Yeah. Basically, you're turning a uh, airport hangar into a kitchen, a ballroom, and a theater. So wow. Our team's been out there since Wednesday. No kidding. Yeah. So how do you, do you have uh, designers? I mean, how does that work? We've got operations team, uh, office support. We'll do walkthroughs with the client. I have lead techs that guide the, the gentleman. A lot of our operations people have been with us for eight or nine years. No kidding. And is it one of those things where kind of like if you can dream it, we can do it? Pretty uh, much. Yeah. If not, we'll find a way to do it. We're all kind of like MacGyvers. <laughs> There's more than one way to do something. What's been the longest drape that you've had to hang? I mean, do you do you hang We can in? ground support up to 22 feet. Really? And after that, you have to tie off to a truss or something in the ceiling. But we have drape that's actually 31 and 35 feet long. No kidding. Okay, when you're doing draping outdoors, um, I said no, no. You don't. No. You don't. Drape and outdoors aren't a good combination. It just takes a little bit of the wind to pick it up, and it acts like a sail. No kidding. Yeah, so have you seen? We've that? learned the hard way. Trust me. Have you seen that happen? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It reminds it, uh, me of that, uh, uh, what was it, Dr. T and the women? It wasn't there a scene? Yeah. In the <laughs> a lot of times we'll do events in a, uh, a ballroom, and somebody will open up the, uh, the doors to the loading dock, and if it catches a wind, it's just like a domino's effect. It, wow. Uh, even drape that tall with 62-pound plates, the wind can have a big effect on it. So I would imagine, like, on any given weekend, y- you have – several things going on at the same time. 
Yeah, exactly. Like weddings and weddings. Events. Doing weddings today, the Sky Ball. I think today and tomorrow we probably have 25 sets and strikes. No kidding. And do you ever have a situation where you just don't have enough fabric? You have to you have to go to a, either a neighboring office no. or never. You we'll never say no. You yeah, we have a sewing department if we have to, we'll make it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And what we do is we feed off an inventory from our other markets. So if we have to, we'll ship it overnight. Are you allowed to name drop? Have you have you worked for any presidents or anything uh, you know, any celebrities that that you care yeah, to quite mention? A, a lot of the presidential debates around the country, and uh, we've done stuff for Bush, a lot of CEOs. Wow. We even go into private homes and put up drape for events. We, I remember years ago we did an event where Highland Park, we took out all the furniture in the living room and put up 60 feet of 22-foot tall red burgundy so the people could have private tango lessons. <laughs> there you go. I think that's awesome. Well, Aren't even, your ceilings that tall in your group? <laughs> even at the event that we were at, I mean, there was Mark Cuban there, Dirk Nowitzki, yeah. Emmett Smith. Yeah. I mean, it was a star at, uh, affair. We're at AT&T Stadium probably four or five times a week. Is that right? Yeah. Do you personally get a chance to meet some of these celebrities? Uh, once in a while. Yeah? Yeah. Are they pretty nice people? Yeah, yeah. When you get to know them. We've done a lot of events for Jerry Jones and... Real nice individual. Very cool. When you think about your uh, kind of career in the drape world, do you have like a favorite thing that you've done um, that you, th- this was really a day when we There's a- several of them. I mean, when you spent two or three days on an event and when those doors open and the uh, planner's eyes light up, you, you've we don't set drape. What we do is we create memories, mm. and that, that's real special. One of the things that impresses me about you, Rob, is that sometimes when companies get big, they kind of lose focus and they they forget that, you know, even though you may have, you know, 10 different jobs going on, this is a bride only gets no, we one treat, wedding. Uh, whether it's a $500 job or a $500,000 job, we treat them the same. We treat each event like the Super Bowl because to that person, that is their Super Bowl. That's <clears> awesome. Whether we've done that 100 different times. Have you gotten some uh, praise from brides uh, over the years that warms your heart? Yeah, we do. Sometimes when they write a special letter, letter or the mom will call you up and say, you know, we can't say enough about it. So well, that means a lot. Tell me about the early days of the company. You said this started in your founder's garage. Right, 1998. Uh, and 1998 is really not a long time ago considering how large your company has grown. Exactly. How many employees – at that time, I bet they had around the country maybe 50, 60. I believe now there's over 600. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys have a company convention? Uh, once in a while we do. It's just so hard to get everybody together at one time. Who gets to, to do the drapes for that one? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> there is no day off. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, but it's a great company. Well, tell me more about your founder. Uh, he seems like a very um, – uh, uh, Lee Dunlop's an incredible person. He uh, – Christian man uh, for years, traveled with his uh, parents doing singing. He's made records. Uh, he's just a visualizer. Wow. Good that's, man. That's awesome. It sounds like there's a great company culture it is. that you're working it with. It is. It's a family. Wow. Well, I'm very impressed with you. We'll have to have you back again Thank sometime. you very much. Give us the website. www.questdrape.com. Outstanding. Rob Keating, thanks very much. Thank you. Coming up next, an organization that you've heard about countless times over the years but probably didn't actually know much about. Friends of Wednesday's Child is just ahead on The Jeff Curley Show.